Wow, guys, today I am going to get started building Maximum PCs Turbo PC. This is their, uh, the Turbo one they have. The only, he, actually, here is all the, uh, specs. Give me one second. So if you want to take a look at this, this is the one they've had, their newest one they had in the magazine through December. The, uh, I'm going to make a few differences, uh, instead of using the, uh, their three, 1080 uh, GTX card. I'm gonna use my 970 because for my purposes right now, that's fine. Uh, the most most of the rest of these I am staying with the same. I'm staying with the uh, ATX case, the 750 watt uh, gold power supply, the Asus X99 A2 motherboard, Intel Core i7-5820K CPU, the Corsair H100i V2 cooler, and like I said, I'm going to change the GPU to the 970. I'm staying with the 32GB G-Scale Ripjaw V-Series DDR4. And uh, the SSD I'm also changing. I went with the uh, Samsung 850 uh, 1TB EVO. So that one's really cool. And then I'll be putting uh, Windows 10 home. And here is all the parts, guys. I'm also, I also bought a, a LED light set there, which I'm going to set up in the case. Guys, this is going to be a comprehensive build. I'm going to show you guys where to plug in pretty much everything because I've had a really hard time finding this online. So I'm going to uh, do a lot of research and show you guys how to set this up. And uh, also before this, I will be reviewing each of these components separately and showing you what's in the boxes. So uh, if you're watching this video, those other videos came out before. So go ahead and back up and check them out. Well, let's get started. I'm super excited. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and mount the uh, Corsair cooler right to the case. Uh, it's going to be at the top of the case. So here you've got this plate here. Uh, you take the two screws off here and there's three screws on the back. So it just slides right out and you're going to mount it right to here. So the way I want to mount it in the case is like this. So you're going to mount it right to this top plate over here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and mount this whole radiator here to this plate here. I'm gonna keep it all the way over on this end. So uh, I'll show you why in a moment. So basically, as you can see from this end, you're just gonna line up the holes here. You're gonna line up the holes there. Uh, sorry. Okay, so you're gonna line up the holes there and you're gonna use the smaller screws and a spacer up top for uh, every one of these. So it'll be uh, eight screws to mount it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so here I've got the motherboard. The first thing I wanna do before I put the motherboard into the case is to install the uh, RAM and the CPU so you're not reaching inside a dark case, you know, moving stuff around. It's, it's a lot easier to do out of the box. Uh, here I got my rip jaw memory. I've got four, four eight gigabyte sticks here, which is what they recommend. I wanted to go with two 16 gigabyte sticks, but they recommended four because uh, it's like the, it optimizes the channels. So it, it helps, it makes it a lot faster if you use four. And then I went with the Intel Core uh, i7-5820 CPU. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out of the package for you guys right now. Just comes with a little book. And then it comes with the CPU itself. And guys, if you don't have a static, uh, like an anti-static uh, wrist strap, I mean, it's not a huge deal. Just make sure you guys touch something metal before you touch any of these components. Because if you have static built up and you touch something, it's going to fry. 
uh, you're gonna fry whatever you're touching. Okay, so uh, for this computer, they recommend four sticks, and the configuration is the first, the third, the uh, sixth, and the eighth. So you can see those ones are gray. So if you're using four sticks, you're gonna plug your memory into the four gray ones there. I will show you how. Okay, so when you plug it in, you just go ahead and pull this one tab out here and you, you line this up because one side is longer than the other. So you line it up, you make sure that you are uh, putting it correctly there. And then you just put it into the channel pieces there. You push it down, you'll hear a click. And the end piece here will pop back up. So I'm just going to go ahead and install all four of those into the gray, gray slots rather than the black ones. Okay, so I've got all four of those installed and it's already starting to look pretty cool. I mean, I really like the red color uh, Ripjaw uses on its memory. It looks really cool. And then we're going to go ahead and move to the CPU installation. So here you've got these little arms here. You just go ahead and push it and they will pop up there. And then this whole cover will pop up. It does have a cover here to cover the CPU. Once you install the CPU, you're gonna remove this cover and they recommend you keep it because if you have any motherboard issues and you gotta send it back, they won't give you a refund or another motherboard without that cover in place because they probably want to keep dust and particles out of that socket. Okay, so when you're installing it, you'll see a little arrow here on the CPU, and you'll see an arrow here on the motherboard. So just align those arrows, just put it in there nice and gently. It'll fit right on top, and then just go ahead and close the bracket close these uh, slots here and you're gonna go ahead and remove this cover here so that your uh, the back of your CPU is uh, showing usually this is where you would put the thermal paste and put on the fan but I am going with water cooling so I'll show you uh, after I get this put in the case uh, the water cooler actually has thermal paste built into it so you're going to go ahead and attach it right to the CPU there. Okay, so for this step, you're going to take the back plate here. This is for the bracket on the water cooler. So you got on the back of the motherboard, you got four holes. These are adjustable. So you adjust it and pop it into the four holes. And then uh, you're going to turn your motherboard uh, back on the front, on the top. Okay, and for the 2011, which is the... Uh, CPU socket I've got here you're gonna use these you're gonna uh, it's long on one side and short on the other there's four of them for the standoff okay and when you do this you're gonna want to uh, put the screw the short end into the uh, motherboard piece here and firmly tighten it down Okay guys, uh, actually with this socket set I have here, uh, I actually found out you don't need to put the back plate on there. So you're just going to screw these, the short end right to the four screws on the four sides of the CPU. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and install the back plate from the inside. It simply, simply slides into here and pops into place. Nice and easy. Okay, so the standoffs for this case are already uh, included here. So basically, you just pop the motherboard into here, you line it up, and you're going to go ahead and put in, I believe it's eight screws. Okay, the screws are not included with your motherboard. They come with your case. These. Okay, so guys, these are the screws that you need to attach the motherboard. They have round heads and they're little tiny screws. Okay guys, so I went ahead and installed the screws. There is nine of them. You've got one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. One in the middle of the board there. So my next step is going to be to attach the water cooler. So I'm simply going to go ahead and take this plastic cover off the mounting plate here. And then just go ahead and put it right onto the standoffs here. And screw it into place with the thumb screws that are included. Okay, next we're going to uh, plug in the connections to the Corsair cooler into the motherboard. First you have the USB one here. That's going to plug into the USB down here. And then you have, uh, for the water pump or fan, I'm going to plug that one into there. So I'm going to route it around and then I will show you how I did it. Okay, so this cable here, I went ahead and routed it back through there out through here to the water pump uh, fan connector here and then the other cable I routed it up through the top down the back and over here to the USB header okay let me zoom in you can see up top there is the uh, the fan cable and when we go down here you can see the USB one is plugged in all the way down there. Uh, refer to your motherboard manual. That'll tell you where to plug all these in. Okay, guys. So I went ahead and plugged all. Uh, these are the ones from the front panel. You've got the reset switch. you got the LED uh, light there. And you have the power switch and the two LEDs. They go onto this adapter here that comes with the motherboard. And then this is just going to plug into the front here. You'd refer to the uh, motherboard manual here, which shows how they connect. This is for the uh, front sound panel. This is USB 2.0 and 3.0. So the USB 3.0 is going to plug in right here. And the sound is going to plug in right there. I'll zoom in in one second. Okay, so there you have the audio. And then... You've got the USB 3.0, and then you've got the uh, all the front cables for the power and everything plugged in there. Like I said, again, refer to your motherboard. Okay, and then right there where my finger is pointed is where you're going to plug in your fan. It says uh, CPU fan there. So uh, I have one fan connection from the front, because with this case, you just plug in one fan connection. And then on the uh, other side, you could plug in up to 12 fans. Okay, and now would be a good time to install the power supply. As you can see, I went ahead and connected all the different power cables. I'm going to probably only need about two or three of these, but I want to have them connected so I don't have to take out the power supply in the near future. So this is going to slide right down into here. And then you're going to uh, put four screws on the back side here, which I will show you in a moment. Okay, then to, for this power supply, you simply drop it in. You put in these four screws here. Okay, so next I'm going to do the hard drive. For the hard drive, I went with the 1 terabyte 850 EVO by Samsung. So I'll go ahead and take this out. And this is going to mount... You're going to take this bracket off here, mount it right to it, and then reattach it. Okay, then when it's, once it's mounted with four screws that come with uh, your case, you're just going to drop it onto here, slide it forward, and you're done. Okay, then you're going to go in, go ahead and plug in uh, the power plug here from the power source. And then you're going to go ahead and plug in the SATA cable here. And then the SATA cable will be plugged into the front of the case. And then while we're back here, we have one more thing to plug into power. That would be this for the fan. So you go ahead and plug it into the power connector here. And then we have the big thick cable here that's got to be routed into the front. This is the uh, main power for the uh, motherboard. Okay, then for the main power supply, that is going to plug in right over here. And the SATA cable is going to plug in over here, one of the SATA ports here. 
Okay guys, uh, another two sets of cables to install for the CPU. You got an 8 pin up here and you got a 4 pin here. And Okay, then the last thing we're going to have to install is a 3D card. So I'm going to take out these two expansion uh, port blockers here and put it right in there. Okay, so then this one you're just going to plug right into here, push it into place, and put in the two screws in the front. Okay, once that is installed, you're just going to take the 8-pin uh, CPU power cable from the back and plug it right into here. Okay, as you can see, uh, things are still looking pretty neat. I mean, I have some cable management left, but the next part is to just go around, look at your uh, motherboard... Uh, instructions instructions that came with your cooler and all everything that you bought here make sure everything's plugged in and then it's going to be time for the post which is the power on self test to make sure everything is working okay here we go it says press f1 to get into bios and there we go Okay, so you're seeing the uh, CPU speed there. Uh, you're seeing the fan spinning up. The motherboard temperature. Uh, there's the memory. Okay, awesome. Cool. Okay, guys, so here is what the final install looks like. I have a little bit of cable management to do. Uh, Right over there, I gotta clean up some of those cables there. Uh, those look all right. So uh, I got a little bit of cleanup. Uh, I'm gonna install LED lights on the two sides of the uh, glass panel, so you'll have LED lighting on the inside. And here is the back side, which you don't see. I mean, here you can see it's a mess of cables, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit too. But this side is not as important because you're not going to see that. Okay, so guys, here is a complete look at my setup with the LED lights uh, put in the system. And it looks totally awesome. So I went ahead and installed a uh, LED light kit that I bought from Amazon, which includes two strips, which I uh, taped to the sides of the... Uh, door on the glass panels there and it comes with a little remote control the receiver is right in there and you could change it to all these different colors so let's go ahead and try some of those out got red green blue yellow green sorry I'm having a hard time seeing the remote so as you can see, as you change the colors to the, uh, like the memory sticks actually change color. Check that out. There they turn from red to black. That is so cool. And then with this, uh, I could also cycle through colors. So have it flashing different colors there. Or different colors here. Or also here. Or here and then also you could adjust the brightness too so this is like maximum brightness if it's too bright for you just dial it down uh, let me also open that up so you guys can see it without the glass door in the way actually I apologize ah uh, if I do take the glass door off uh, I'm not gonna have the LED lights on so here I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom into the case. You can see here the case is really super nice and clean. So uh, when they have that, the back panel where you could run everything out the back panel there, it makes a huge difference. As you can see, I mean the inside of the case is pretty much bare. And that is my computer build guys let me know what you guys think uh i'm really interested to see what you guys think of it and thanks for viewing 
Okay guys, so here is a good uh, finished look at my computer. This is the inside the case after my cable management everywhere. As you can see, it's uh, pretty much empty inside. So right now I've got everything uh, installed up and working. You can see those cables there are running through the bottom. The only thing I don't like is that cable from the 3D card. Uh, the rest, uh, the cable management actually turned out really great. I mean, I, I'm surprisingly shocked. Uh, I'm also used to uh, buying my computers, so you don't have as a uh, premium of a case. But, that's what it looks like. So, it was a lot of fun, and I appreciate you guys watching. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos, and if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.